Okay, problem 3, 4a gives us an unadjusted trial balance, the first column, and an adjusted trial balance, the last column, and says, if there's a difference, what might have caused that, or what must have caused that? Well, the first difference we see is in accounts receivable. Well, accounts receivable went up. So that probably means that we earned but did not collect revenue. So that would be $8,000. And there would be the change in the revenue. Consulting fees earned have gone up $8,000. So that would be the first adjustment. The next adjustment it asks us to look at is office supplies. You see they had been $16,000. They're now down to $2,000. So that would indicate that we had supplies and we used them. And the total amount would be 16000 So that would be a credit, or I'm sorry, 14000 A credit to office supplies, 16 minus 2, 14000 And a debit to supply expense of 14000 that's the only thing that could have caused that. The next thing it asks us to look at, and it's very similar, is prepaid insurance. Our prepaid insurance had been $85.40. It is now $29.60. The difference between those is $5,580. $5,580. Credit prepaid insurance, debit insurance expense, 5580. The next thing it asks us to look at office equipment stays the same. Accumulated depreciation office equipment was 14,000, is now 20,000. So that's a credit to accumulated depreciation of $6,000 and a debit to depreciation expense office equipment $6,000 then we look at accounts payable accounts payable was $9,100 is now $10,000 the only thing that would cause that was that we got a bill and we haven't paid it yet. So we have a bill of $900 for accounts payable. And now we're not quite sure where that fits. If we look down the row here, we see that advertising expense went from 12 one to 13 That has to be that $900. So a lot of this, you're playing Sherlock Holmes, you're just kind of guessing, but based, not really guessing, you're assuming based on accounting evidence what you're doing. And the uh, insurance is all the way at the bottom there. See the $900 right there. Okay, let's see, what's the next one it asks us to look at? Interest payable, $1,000. Was zero is now $1,000. That means we borrowed money or bought equipment on account. We did some credit transaction, but we didn't pay the interest on it yet. So that's $1,000. And we'll look down below here for interest expense. And there it is there, and it did indeed go up exactly $1,000.
Next it asks us to look at salaries payable. Salaries payable went from zero to 7,000 because salaries payable is zero. From went from zero to 7,000. And the only thing that could possibly be linked to salaries payable would be salaries expense of $7,000, which I already filled in incorrectly. $7,000 is salary expense. That office supply expense was $14,000. I wrote that in the wrong spot down below. So, had you not made any of the screw-ups that I did, and had you done it correctly, your correct sheet would look something like this. Okay? And I'll, we'll, we'll go through it again just to make sure you're comfortable. And we'll check them off as we go. Accounts receivable, $8,000. That's revenues that were earned but not collected. So that would be a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to fees earned. B is supply expense. So we credit the supplies and debit the supply expense, which I did incorrectly before. So debit supply expense, 14,000 credit supplies. 14,000. We've used some supplies out of our supply bucket. Next, we have some insurance that expired. Went from 8540 to 2960, 5580. We're going to debit insurance expense 5580. Credit prepaid insurance. We've used up some insurance from the insurance bucket. Next, we have accumulated depreciation on our office equipment. Went up, so that's a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation. The next transaction is accounts payable. Went up by $900, which means we have some expense that went up by $900 that we haven't paid. And when looking through it by process of elimination, we found out that it was indeed the advertising expense all the way down here at the bottom. So we debit advertising expense, credit accounts payable, or interest payable, excuse me. No, accounts payable. Interest payable was the next transaction we had and interest payable right here we had some transaction with credit that incurred a thousand dollars worth of interest but we didn't pay it yet we have it down here interest expense salaries payable is our last adjustment we have seven thousand dollars that we didn't pay yet so that's a $7,000 debit to salary expense and a credit of $7,000 to salaries payable.